Hi, I'm Matthew. Welcome to my channel, and today we're going to do a blade showdown. Real quick, I'm going to wet my face. <music> Well, it's Wednesday. <laughs> Will it shave? I don't know. All right. Well, here are the two razors, and this is take number two, maybe three, four, or five. I don't know, because today has been one beep of a day. Anyway, these are the two Game Changer razors, and one is loaded with the Gillette Silver Blue, and the other one is the Gillette Wilkinson Sword from India. Okay, I already wet the face. I'm not gonna do any pre-shave. And I've got my lather. <sighs> now, I know this is the blade comparison today, but uh, I decided not to roll with the clown fruit because I've been getting a lot of clown fruit. And I know you don't know just yet, but <sighs> I have my Captain's Choice Copper Bowl and my beautiful green Trotters Handcraft Brush. The lighting looks a little different here to me, or it could be my eyes. <laughs> it's late. But uh, anyway, this particular soap, and I, let me just say right off the bat, I have no intentions on selling soap. But I've been playing around with making soap for... I don't know, what has it been, two years now? And there was a scent, and I'm just lathering. Let me just get to, uh, look at that. Anyway, there was a scent that I really, really wanted, and I reached out to three different soap makers that I enjoy buying their soaps and said, I have a particular scent that I would like to have made. And... One person right off the bat shot me down and said, no, we don't play that. Homie, don't play that. And my feelings were hurt, and I thought, oh, well. And another person said, well, let me look into it, and I'll get back to you. And then I heard crickets. <laughs> and another person said, I'm kind of busy. I got things going on, and I totally understand that. And this particular person, I had make me some soap before, so... I'm not going to say any names because I don't want to make anybody mad. But it is what it is. And so what it is, is the soap that I've been making. And this is a variation of an old school Italian recipe that I've had for quite some time. And I've just been tweaking a little here and there until I got it the way I liked it. And then I thought, you know what? I'm going to try making this scent. Razor number one. My wife loaded these razors. I have no idea which razor is in, or I mean, which blade is in, which razor, but we're going to go with this one. I know this. I know this blade. I, I really enjoy this blade. It is a great combination between sharpness and smoothness, and you can get many, many enjoyable shaves out of it. All right, so after I got my scentless soap recipe the way I liked it, I decided to play with fragrances. And though my nose is not really keen as some folks, I was able to dial in this particular scent. And it takes me back to a time when I was in Afghanistan. All right, here we go. Razor number two, side. Here we go. Okay, now this blade is a little sharper. What a nice blade as well. Now, if this is the blade that I think it is, my, 
my mind and storytelling is all over the place. See, that's how I get you hooked, right? <laughs> if this is the blade I think it is, I, I do enjoy the blade, um, but I feel like the first couple of shaves, I get a little bit of razor burn with it. And then after that, it's, uh, it's nice. I feel like I might have got me. So I'm going to say that this blade here is the uh, Wilkinson sword blade. And I don't know. I'm just thinking, do I want to finish? I'm not sure which blade I really, I mean, I like the smoothness. I like the sharpness. But if this is the Gillette Wilkinson sword blade, I would have to say, I don't know. Do I want it to win or not? Um, just because of the little bit of irritation. So I'm going to say this one is the Gillette Wilkinson Sword Saloon Pack from India. We'll see. And then I'll finish my story. I, I am wrong. I, man. Well, I guess I don't. I don't know that blade as well as I thought. So the Wilkinson sword will move on. Who'd have thought? Okay, so let's go ahead and get lathered up for pass number two. I'm, I'm a little shocked on that one, to be honest with you. Hmm. Is it is it really sharper? I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the Wilkinson sword, because that is the winner, and it will move on to the finale. So back to my story. Um, this particular scent definitely takes me back to Afghanistan. And <clears throat> the story behind it is when I deployed, I just took a few bars of soap with me. And they have a local shop called AFES, which is Army, Air Force, Federal Exchange. And so there's always an opportunity to pick up other soaps or shampoos or whatever. And who wants to carry 24 bars when you're gone for 18 months? Not me. And so <clears throat> I'm going to go across the green for pass two. So once I um, ran out of my bar soap... I ended up going into another base that was nearby because I had to go out and do some things. And this particular uh, base was a European base. And so there was uh, Germans and Norwegians there. And of course they had a different shop at. And I had to pick up one of the soaps that they had. I'm not going to say the name of the soap, but it had this really nice uh, scent to it. And I, I really liked it, you know, and I later ran out because it was a gel. It was a shower gel, which I really didn't care for the shower gel because when you're throwing that in a rucksack and I'm just going crazy here shaving because I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking back. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so if you're throwing it in a rucksack, there's a good possibility that it can get manhandled, smash, and then it's all over everything inside your, inside your rucksack, which is a bad thing. And <clears throat> me being the smarty pants that I am, I ended up putting it in my, uh, one of the outer pockets. We had three pockets on the front or the back, whatever you want to say. If you're looking at it, it's on the front to you because you're back one on your back. I I digress. Anyway, <clears throat> that particular, I put it in there in case there was any accident. It survived. And once I ran out, I went back to a bar soap that I was familiar with and I missed that scent. And so whenever I went back, I picked up more soap and I fell in love with the scent. But then once I came back to the United States, the scent was no longer there. I found some on eBay, ordered it. Got it here, and uh, now it's a discontinued soap, and I have a whole bunch of bottles. I think I've got maybe 10 left, and so I kind of use it just every so often. And it takes me back 
to a good time when I was in Afghanistan. Let me get cleaned up with some cold water and I will be right back. I am back. I try not to say that, but it's just a habit. Anyway, um, yeah, so this, this uh, soap scent is pretty unique. And when you uh, say what the scent notes are, I'm gonna use the unscented glacial splash. They don't, the, the scent notes themselves doesn't seem like it would be a crowd pleaser, but it truly is. And I've got a little bit of the scent oil here, so I'm gonna put, I don't know, three drops or so. Four, why not, what the hell? Okay, <laughs> and I'm gonna mix that up. And wow, that that's a nice, nice scent. And with this glacial, it's gonna make it even better. But uh, the top notes of this is watermelon. And I know that's kind of like, wow. And then the mid notes is a floral. And I'm not really a floral guy, but. And then it hits you with some musk and patchouli. And I think the patchouli is a little on the heavier end and then the musk. But anyway, just the combination all come together. And that puts a smile on my face. Okay, well, that is, you know what? I forgot the star jelly. <clears throat> Gotta have the star jelly. Can't have a shave without that. All right, so <clears throat> that is the shave for the day. I'm not gonna put any pictures up because I don't have any labels or anything for myself. It's just in an old uh, container couple containers. I only made two of those soaps because I wasn't sure exactly how much. I love that menthol. I haven't had that in a while. I didn't, I wasn't sure on the, um, the scent oil level and I didn't want to make any aftershave splashes until I had it right on. And I am right where it needs to be. Perfect. Excellent. That will last me for a while. I may make some just in case, but that is the shave for the day. I'm sorry for the late video. If you've stuck with me this long, I appreciate you watching. Subscribe, like, share, and if you didn't, click the thumbs down button. I will see you guys on Sunday Shave. You have a great rest of your week.